Hey, hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. And uh, today is a really, really cool special day. Uh, I am out and we are looking for the endangered Carner Blue Butterfly. Uh, but before we head to the locations I'm gonna search for it, I decided to uh, just uh, stop at a couple places beforehand and do uh, some uh, collecting. So, uh, hopefully you stick around this video and hopefully we'll find some Connor Blues later on. Well, I decided to stop at the, the boat landing here on the shores of the St. Croix River. Uh, so I'm on the Minnesota side, Wisconsin's right behind me on the other side of the river. And uh, there's a lot of really good beetles out. Beetles out. There's uh, some small species right here, some big species right up over there. So, uh, might as well go to where they are, so I'm heading into the river. Believe it or not, I just got three different species of whirligig beetles right here. Definitely worth getting in the water. I guess we'll walk down the water line a little bit, see what else we can find. All right, so being this to a river, uh, I'm finding a lot of stoneflies. Found a few species so far. Here's one of them. on this way and I'm actually I'm gonna I'll sweep up and I'll show you uh, uh, yellow ones I've been seeing as well I got a really cool looking uh, lady beetle here see instead of like the regular orange reddish with black dots this one's pale uh, can't really give you the species right now off the top of my head, but pretty cool find nonetheless. I'm going to go ahead and get a picture of that one. Alright, 
So we got more of those lady beetles. I'm gonna actually go ahead and collect a couple of them because I don't know if I have this species. But also yeah, right here. The always beautiful dog bane beetle. I mean just look at those colors. Definitely one of the most beautiful beetles uh, in North America, in my opinion. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, collect that one too. Alright, so here's the other stonefly. <laughs> that uh, species that I've been seeing a lot this morning. As you can see, this one's a more yellowish in coloration. Now, I know nothing about stoneflies or anything like that, so... Couldn't really tell you more information than that. They're just really cool. So, I think this is going to wrap up uh, this lo first location. I'm going to stop at one more place before I head out. Uh, to the barrens to look for the butterfly. Um, definitely collected some good stuff. Really happy stopping here. Glad I found this location. So uh, on to the next spot. All right, so I'm on the second location I want to stop at before I head out to the, for the corner blue. Uh, not much going on here. It is a lovely walk through the woods though. I just got done doing some sweeping and uh, didn't get too much. Uh, not a whole lot of access to the river. I am on the Wisconsin side now. Um, so yeah, not a lot of good access to the river. So there's only just a small little landing. And uh, Nothing too much happening on in uh, this little part, so. I think I'm gonna actually head on over and uh, look for some butterflies. All right, so through the magical power of editing and maybe a little uh, time travel teleportation, we are uh, back at my place. Um, and just to kind of go over, um, Carner Blue and, uh, look at, uh, another, uh, subspecies found in the western United States, which I have right here, that I've collected out in Colorado. So, uh, let's get a little closer look at these, shall we? Alright, so... The Carner Blue is actually a, a, an endangered subspecies. Um, and it is a, a subspecies of the Melissa Blue. Um, so what, what I have here is a, a western subspecies. Plebagus Melissa Melissa. And uh, the corner blue is is, is a uh, not Melissa Melissa. The corner blue is Melissa Samuelis. So between these two uh, subspecies, um, they do look uh, almost similar. Uh, difference is uh, the slight way the orange is on the wings. as well as their range. As I said, this, uh, this uh, subspecies that I have and collected is uh, found throughout m most of western US and it is uh, pretty common. As you can see, I've, I've been able to collect a decent little series of specimens. One of the more common blues I actually see. 
while the Carner Blue, the eastern subspecies, um, obviously has declined in range quite drastically and uh, only found now in just a handful of states. And where I'm looking for the Carner Blues in this video is in Wisconsin, which actually boasts the highest population of Carner Blues in its range. And I've actually always been kind of proud of that. It might be just home, home state pride, I think. But I've always been proud that Wisconsin ha has the uh, largest uh, population of uh, the Carner Blue. Um, so there are uh, differences. The Carner Blue feeds exclusively on wild lupin. Um, so if you don't have wild lupin, then you have no chance of having the Carner Blue. Um, while this subspecies also feeds on wild lupin, but it also does feed on other members of uh, the pea family. And those types of plants. And uh, color-wise, uh, both subspecies are the same. The males are the blue ones here, and the females are the more gray, grayish, brownish colored ones with the orange um, on the wings. So the uh, corner blue will exhibit the same uh, color pattern and everything. Um, and it also displays the orange as well. So hopefully we will be able to see that. But yeah. I am so... I'm really excited to hopefully uh, see some Carner Blues. This will be my very first time ever seeing this species in person. So that will be two weeks in a row finding some bucket list butterflies and uh, bucket list insects in general. So I just wanted to do this uh, little overview, talk about the western subspecies and the uh, differences between uh, Melissa, 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 Samuelis. But yeah. So hopefully uh, pretty soon here we'll be seeing some uh, live specimens. Head back to the field. All right, so at the first spot I wanted to check out, see if we can see any. And I did have just uh, found Lupin. So we got the host plant now. Hopefully. Uh, able to see some of the Carner Blues. And I do apologize uh, since it is a very open area. It is extremely windy right now. So far though, a lot of grasshoppers. And I am checking out uh, oak sand barrens. Actually, lots and lots of grasshoppers. So, uh, I guess I'll check in if I see anything. Well, I found a blue, but not the species of blue we are looking for. This one is a species of azure. And good luck trying to do that thing on camera. So, uh, that wasn't the greatest of light right there, so you really could get a good look. But that was uh, summer azure. So not the uh, blue we were looking for.
Well, it's been a few hours searching, but I haven't seen anything else. So, unfortunately, I think this is going to be a butterfly that can, will continue to elude me. I won't get a chance to go out again this year to look for it, so I just have to try again next year. Which uh, is kind of sucky. But, really cool sand dune area, open dune. And you should see the amount of uh, sand wasps. Uh, so we have a tiger beetle up here as well. I cannot see the screen, so it's way too bright. There we go. There's the tiger beetle. Or maybe not. Nope, we're on one. There's the tiger beetle. That's my bad. Enjoying some sort of meal. I just saw it come out of that hole right there. It was actually digging when I was walking up to it. Can't really zoom in a lot. I don't see if it'll see, but I think you can. Hopefully, you can see them all flying around. This place is just littered with sand wasps. Pretty cool though. Oh, well, I think that's gonna be uh, it for this uh, collecting video. Um, Fortunately, I wasn't able to find and photograph or film the corner blue, but I was able to collect some good stuff from the other locations and everything, so. Kind of a wasted trip, but kind of not. Still a wonderful day out. Still happy I was able to get out and see some stuff, but we did enjoy though. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.